Welcome back, colleagues, as we begin uh, Module 2, where we discover the power of the normal distribution curve. In Module 1, we learn terms and definitions. Now we move forward to applying those terms and definitions to actually do powerful things with our statistical knowledge. I ask again that you forgive me for this lisp. I had uh, major dental surgery. Uh, come a few more days, I'll have the bridges put in and then I'll be all right. But seven root canals kind of slows you down a little bit when you're my age. We're going to do some different things in this course. We talked about how the course is divided into eight modules. We started with terms and concepts, and you have mastered that, so you've made the first wrong. The next wrong will be the normal distribution curve, confidence intervals, hypothesis testing, differences of two means, ANOVA, correlation, and linear regression. The last four of these, we will utilize software specifically to accomplish the task. And that's kind of how I've designed this course. I want you to be able to use your brain to be creative, to interpret, to apply. And then we will let technology work for us to help us actually calculate values that you understand what they are, but your challenge is to know how to apply them. So welcome. We have some topics to examine. One of the first of these is probability percent and decimals. And we will talk about that as we get into the actual modules. When we say uh, 0.53, that's 53%. And as 53%, that means 53% of the time something will happen, 47% of the time it will not happen. You're going to be able to work with decimals, percents, and probability by the time we get through the end of this module. We're going to work on the normal distribution curve, which is something very exciting. Uh, I think you're going to kind of enjoy it. You're going to be able to be very creative as you apply your knowledge into it. We will work with z-scores and probability. We're going to read z-score tables. We're going to find areas using z-score boundaries. And we're going to find areas for raw score boundaries, which in other words, we'll take a raw score, interpret it to a a, a normal distribution curve and then be able to use the z-scores to find areas. Once we have specified areas, we will establish what z-scores capture those. And we're going to review some sample problems. These skills shall shortly be yours. You're just about to engage on a great task of mastering new material. Uh, keep climbing the ladder. You have got this, my friends. You're almost there. There's no doubt that you can go right up that eight-prong ladder and stand on the top, which is where you shall be shortly.